Hi folks, Dr. Bob McCauley. I wanted to talk a little bit more about my brand new book, just came out a couple days ago, The Cure in the Mirror, Nature's Protocol for Surviving Cancer. So this is all about how you can cure your body naturally. Don't forget to subscribe, share this video, and smash that like button, and help the world to know that the body can cure itself of cancer, can from cancer or any other disease. So let's just go over the little contest, give you an idea what uh, this book is about. I spent about 50% of this book telling you why I don't think the medical establishment is really up to the task of, of curing the body or telling you how to can cure the body of cancer, how they can rid the body of cancer. And uh, you know, it goes on for about, about 115 pages like that. And then I get into my cancer protocol. So you have the preference in the introduction. In the introduction, I kind of talk about how this guy came into my store many years ago and said, uh, yeah, I just got to the doctor and, um, you know, he says, uh, I got cancer and what do you think I should do? And anyway, I gave him some suggestions and a protocol and he disappeared for a couple of years, showed up a couple of years later, he had moved away and now he moved back and he was, um, cancer was gone. And I said, this is what this book is about. So um, the pur purpose of the book, you see chapter one there, the pur purpose of the book, who am I to write a book about cancer? Well, I'm just not some guy, but um, um, you know, people are gonna say, who are you to write can a book about cancer? Are you an oncologist? Are you coming, uh, are you a medical specialist? Then you should just shut your mouth because you don't know what you're talking about. You don't have any credentials. So I talk about that. And then um, next one, of course, wicked cancer. Um, you know, just what it does and how it hurts, uh, you know, the people that it affects. Of course, it affects everybody in one way or another because literally you've got 40% of the people, uh, you know, in their lifetime now gets cancer. So this has become an epidemic and, uh, you know, the medical establishment really doesn't know where it's coming from. Uh, the next is the medical establishment's view of cancer. Uh, how they view it, what they think it is, uh, the American Cancer Society, how they view it, and then I review that. Um, I talk about what disease is, and I talk about what cancer is exactly, how what it is, and where does it come from? Well, you know, I have a theory on that. I'll get into that later in the book, but I have a theory on where cancer comes from, and really the medical establishment, they have a theory, and as a matter of fact, they really have 20 different theories. No one really knows where it's come from. Uh, most recently, they said cell mutations. Well, if it's cell mutations or spelling mistakes, as they say, spelling mistakes, meaning nature just makes mistakes. You know, nature just can't ha uh, handle it, you know, and who, who runs nature? God. So God just makes mistakes, sorry, just spelling mistakes. And, uh, you know, where do they come from? Well, you know, I think they actually come from a particular source. We're going to get into that. Um, and then, of course, next one, no one has ever died of cancer. Well, they haven't. They've died from the effects of cancer. But uh, the cancer itself, no, it doesn't really, uh, it doesn't really end up killing you. It just sort of... Uh, it takes your body and turns it into fuel for itself. We'll get into that deep detail in the book. And then the quest for a cosmic cancer cure. And what I get into that is like saying really, um, you know, they're really looking for what, what, is the, what is the silver bullet, the golden bullet, uh, some kind of bu bullet that is going to make sure that, you know, your body's cured of cancer and it's never gonna come back and they're gonna find that in a lab. And that's what they're looking for, and that's something I'm telling you something right now. That is never going to happen. That's never going to be found. Next is using science to denounce and deny nature, and this is what uh, this is a big thing these days. How um, you know you get uh, science scientists, medical science researchers, and um, and they just tell you anything that's natural is just nonsense and it's superstitious. And um, you know the reason you're not using our cures and our methods and our therapies is because you don't understand science. And quite frankly, you should be praying to science and stop praying to that God of yours and, and understand that everything comes to you from science. So that's what that's about. Uh, the medical establishment and salvation from disease. I go over that, how the medical establishment is gonna save us from all diseases. And really the truth is they've never saved us from any disease ever. Uh, twisted pole dancing snakes. That talks about the caduceus, which is the two snakes going on a pole, and then something called the rod of Asclepius and how confusing um, and how the medical establishment has been confused by those two symbols and what they mean. Um, and okay, how the medical, uh, how medicine weakens the immune system. If you look at, uh, you know, what the, what, what 
the medical establishment, what, what oncologists do to you when you get cancer is, and they do this not only with cancer, but it's almost so many diseases. You take any infectious disease. If you go to the hospital and you have an infectious disease, they keep feeding you and feeding you a meal after meal after meal. Um, and it's garbage food, of course. It's, it's hospital food. There's nothing worse. Um, and the last thing you should be doing is eating when you're sick, okay? You should clear your blood and um, give your body a chance to, your immune system, to, to build back and fight itself. Um, but the medic medicine, um, uh, you know, really just weakens us uh, and all their th treatments for uh, uh, cancer and other diseases weakens our immune system tremendously. Uh, the cure for cancer will never be found um, is the next chapter until you look in the mirror because the cure for all cancer, of course, is you, your body. Uh, you have to stop putting the wrong things into it and start putting the right things into it. And that's what I tell you what to do in this book. Um, the incredible effectiveness of fake drugs. I talk about placebos and how incredibly effective they are. They're just, placebo is just like a sugar pill or something and it's all up here. And, um, and you know, you'll see that, you know, you'll see in some cases 20, 30, 40% of the people have better results using placebos than the drugs they're administered. So uh, that kind of is revealing. Um, the trillion dollar disease industry and that's what it is. it is it is a disease industry it's not a healthcare industry it's a disease industry and it is worth a trillion dollars a year if if not more um, and then the next uh, chapter is the epoch of the mafias and the mafia is mafia is anything that um, you know stops you keeps you from knowing the truth I talk about uh, you know the healthcare mafia the pink ribbon mafia the disease ribbon mafia all these different mafias that um, really are out there stopping us from knowing what the truth is about health. Um, and uh, the next is mafias everywhere. I go through them all. Uh, then next a little bit of uh, Latin there, uh, the scaremonger industry. Um, the scaremonger industry is, is, the, is the medical establishment. Now I'm always accused of being a scaremonger and um, all the time, uh, you know, and I try to scare people into buying my products as if I don't have a conscience and I just want to scare you and say you're going to die if you don't do what I tell you. That's actually what the medical establishment does. They said, you know, they basically say you're going to do this and then if uh, if you don't do it you're going to die, you're on your own and goodbye and if you do anything outside of what we're telling you to do, if you don't follow our our cancer uh, protocols exactly, our medical protocols, uh, we'll just, uh, you, you just go find yourself someone else. It's really, and this is very common. This is not just unheard. You know, I heard of one, two cases. Pretty, pretty common out there. Um, uh, then there's next something called integrative medicine, and this is where we say, well, you know, I'm, um, uh, you know, I'm a, I'm a medical doctor, but I've got natural cures. So you got kind of one foot in the medical world and one foot in the natural world, and, and you're trying to appeal to both. Uh, Dr. Andrew Wheel does that. He in fact invented this term, uh, integrative medicine. You'll see that he's got a foot in both ones, both worlds, and he's denounced by both of them. I'll just let you know that. Um, and then vaccinations and infectious diseases. Where I go into vaccinations, what they are, what uh, you know, whether they're going to work for infectious diseases. I talk about that. I actually wrote a whole book on that. It's called Silver, the Miracle Mineral, the End of Infectious Disease. Uh, how I got meningitis and uh, was incredibly ill. And, um, and I, my body sort of fought back. Um, I didn't know I had meningitis, and um, but uh, you know I didn't need a vaccine for that. So that's what my whole book of, about is uh, the soap book on silver, silver the miracle mineral. Uh, the next one is origin syndromes and conditions. So what, what's a condition and what's a syndrome? Um, you got sickle cell anemia. Um, or Down syndrome, those are syndromes, those are genetic uh, anomalies and people and those are inherited. And then uh, conditions would be something like autism. So I go over that. And then last but not least, just for this little session here, old people smell. Well, old people smell is, um, you know, that smell that pe old people have. So you go around grandma and grandpa and yeah, they have that smell. And um, someone once commented to me, um, well, you have old people smell. And I said, what are you talking about? Well, it turns out uh, I had an infection in my tooth and, um, you know, that was that what that smell is. And so I talk about what old people smell is 
and uh, where that comes from. And it comes because your body is broken down. It, you're full of infection. Uh, you, your immune system is all but gone. And that's why when you see this, this virus has been out there for the last year and the pandemic, um, it affected the old people. At first in Italy, it affected the old people. They have no immune system. They, they, they've been living on the raw f wrong foods their entire life. And, um, you know, they've never done anything substantial to build up their immune system. And so they're wide open to every kind of disease that comes along. So when something like uh, this disease that came through a year ago or so and uh, turned the whole world upside down, why, why, did it, why did it affect so many other people and some people just kind of sneezed a couple times and, or you know, coughed and that was it? Well, because some people have an immune system like I had when I went through meningitis and most people don't. And when you get old, you are susceptible to everything. But your body can cure itself of disease at any stage in your life. You can always build up your immune system. You can always be healthy. You can always turn that ship around. Um, if you've got stage four cancer and you're lying on your bed and uh, you know, your wife with cancer, well, you know, it's too late. But the average person can always walk up if you can walk and say, I got cancer. I think you can be cured of cancer. I've always maintained that. And, um, you know, you just got to build up your immune system. You can always turn around. Your body is capable of healing itself of any disease. I guarantee you that. So we're going to keep going through this on my next video. I just want to go short uh, videos here and just kind of go through my book and talk a little bit more about cancer, where I'm coming from in this. I'm going to really promote this book a lot, uh, unlike some of my other books, which I just sort of put out there and they sold, um, you know, uh, somewhere on average, you know, I sold several thousand copies compared to what I know I can do on this one because once this is the first book and it's the last book you're ever going to need on health. Believe me, it's the only book you'll need on health. I, I really go through everything. And we'll continue on this. I'll be doing this either tomorrow or the next day. Dr. Bob, I'll see you guys next time.